Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. We all know that the modern day warfare is shifting towards electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation can be described in terms of a stream of massless particles called photons each traveling like a wave-like pattern at the speed of light. Each photon contains a certain amount of energy. The different types of radiations are defined by the amount of energy found in the photons. Radio waves have photons with low energies. Microwave photons have little more energy than radio waves. Infrared photons have still more than visible ultraviolet X-rays and the most energetic of all is gamma rays. The reason why I explained this to you because China is developing a new weapon called electromagnetic missile or an EMP weapon. It's going to be a hypersonic missile which can cruise at a speed of max 6 which means it can cover a distance of 3000 kilometers in 25 minutes with a non-nuclear warhead. The missile is being developed to create a complete power blackout in the region where this missile is dropped inflicting heavy damage to its economy and crippling its civic and economic infrastructure. The initial development of EMP was related to nuclear warhead where nuclear explosion is used to create a burst of electromagnetic radiation. However, a Chinese electromagnetic missile makes use of chemical explosion to create huge burst of electromagnetic radiations. The chemical explosion would compress an electrically charged magnet known as flux compression generator which would convert the shock energy to short but extremely powerful burst of microwaves. The missile is expected to harness the intensity of heat which is a byproduct of the hypersonic speed. The missile makes use of supercapacitors that can pack 20 times more power than a normal battery. These capacitors are charged using heat generated by the chemical explosion of the missile. The missile has onboard heat to electricity generator which is responsible for converting the heat energy into the electric charge which gets stored in supercapacitors. These supercapacitors can offload their complete charge in matter of 10 seconds causing instantaneous discharge and huge EMP damage. The blast can burn out electronic devices in 2 km radius damaging the communication systems and power grids in that area. According to a statement made in writing by the Chinese military, the country has super EMPs and has discussed their use in attacking Taiwan. Such an attack would cripple the information systems allowing China to move in and attack it directly using soldiers. The Taiwanese military has subsequently confirmed Chinese possession of super EMPs and their possible destruction to power grids. Apart from Taiwan, US is also in the range of Chinese missile and it can be used against India as well. The US aircraft carriers stationed within a reasonable range of an exploding bomb are also subject to complete destruction of missiles on board as well as telecommunication system that would allow them to communicate with nearby vessels and controllers on land. The United States also possess such EMP weapon known as counter electronics high powered microwave advanced missile project or CHAMP developed by Boeing. In May 2019, it was revealed that the US Air Force had deployed at least 20 CHAMP acute missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.